Grace, how are you doing? Tonight is his seventh birthday, so we are making Grace. some amazing treats for him. And it's in a brand new product that Pampered Chef is launching for us this fall, starting in September. And guess what it is? Tell him what it is. What is this called? Donut. Donut pan and our enamel, our blue antique enamel. And it's to bake donuts. And trust me, we've already tried it out and they are super, super yummy. Super perfect size, great for teacher gifts and things like that. But I'm gonna set this off to the side because I'm gonna show you what we've made. We have made some chocolate donuts. Look at these. Nice. And it's on our stackable cooling rack. I just have one. I would say the recipe that I'm gonna tell you about has uh, makes 18, but they are so cute. Basically, you're using um, all-purpose flour, sugar, Come in uh, when you're ready. cocoa powder, we are, baking soda salt, mm -hmm. sour cream, canola oil, and milk is pretty much all. And then mm -hmm. we just made a glaze with powdered sugar, milk, um, cocoa, and I'm just going to give this a stir. That? It's going to be the glaze That's topping. Cute. This is our glass, um, leak-proof glass container here. But I've given it a stir because I pre-made it. It's powdered sugar, yeah. milk, and chocolate. Trace, you want to stick your finger and test it out? Yeah, I test it. Mm, no, he's our no, taste no. tester. I know, you don't really tell your kids to put your finger in it, but it's his birthday. So we've got this all mixed up, and we're going to glaze these. No. And then I'm you don't going like to, it? And then I'm going to show you um, how to make some cinnamon sugar donuts real quick. Taste so sugary. Now, Trace, this is what I want you to do. Show, I'm going to show you. You're going to take the donut. Oh, look at him. Mr. I don't like it. You're dripping it everywhere. Trace, you're going to take the donut? No. Nah. Well, first don't you don't want to. And you dunk it. And then you lay it right here. And then it's going to be glazed. So if you want to try one, <laughs> dunk it and put it right back on the, the cooling rack. And I have parchment paper underneath just to, to catch the drippings. So it's, not, it's okay. Go ahead and dunk your donut. Don't dunk it all the way. Just dunk the top. Put it a little bit further. Dunk it halfway. All right, pick it up and turn it over and lay it down. You gonna do it again? Yeah, I'm yes. gonna do it. Go ahead. I'm... So you wanna do all of those while I do the other or you want me to help you do them? Uh, help. Okay, he wants me to help so you guys can take a close yeah. look at this right here and see how yummy they're looking already. And then I'm gonna pause it and when we go over to make the apple, uh, the apple uh, cinnamon <coughs> ones, you can come with me. Okay? So pause for now. All right, we're back and we're ready to make our second batch of, this is called apple uh, apple spice or apple cider uh, donuts, but we kind of changed it and made it um, cinnamon donuts. And in here we have one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of uh, cinnamon and a little bit of extra sugar, um, a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt and we're getting ready to do a half a cup of applesauce so we'll, let's go ahead and get this mixed together okay here do me a favor and let's mix this all up i do have some canola oil in here also two tablespoons of canola oil okay you're gonna help me hold that so we're gonna put a half a cup of applesauce so instead of the um sour cream like for the chocolate we're going to put applesauce in it that's going to give it the moisture and it's also going to give it some apple flavor i think it's going to be super yummy i'll mix and then you also get frozen <coughs> concentrate apple juice and you thaw it out and you're going to put a half a cup of this concentrate no no i won't do it okay you're done you mean your doctor talks? yeah Okay, and Trace is going to start mixing all that up. Once this batter is mixed, we are going to put it in here about three quarters of the way each way. You don't want them to be too big over the top. And then I'm using my medium scoop. It's perfect to fill these um, for your donuts. So we're going to do that. And then you only have to bake them for about eight to ten minutes. And then after we're finished, we're going to just take and coat them in some cinnamon sugar. I have mixed up some... Mix I'm using my hands. I'm a little crazy. Can so I cinnamon do it? sugar. So we're gonna dunk them in that when they're warm, so that we have cinnamon sugar dusted donuts. So let's see how I fill them real quick. Back up and let me go ahead and mix this up. Cinnamon. And mix this batter up a little bit better. The little kids' hands don't get it as well. Ooh, um, smell it. Does it smell good? 
Apple sauce and apple juice. Apple cinnamon. Sugar. Oh, our favorite. We love apple cinnamon stuff, don't we? Okay. All right, let me go ahead and get some filled and then we'll see you later. No! All right, so I've got my scoop here and I'm just going to let that fall all around <laughs> the sides. Bye bye. Bye. Did you grease it or anything? You do grease it? I do have it greased lightly. And you see it? It'll fall. It will start settling in once I do the others. This one is a little bit thicker batter than the um, chocolate, but it will settle in and then I'll bake it for 8 to 10 minutes and we'll be good. So thanks.